Did Hayanka really just drop another banger? Let's find out. So our model is rated for 550 watts RMS power, max power 1100, and then we get a repeat of the other information. All right, here it is. All right, let's kind of give it the look around. Now this subwoofer reminds me of basically a love child of a bunch of different brands, but let's look at it first and then we'll talk about what this sub reminds me of. And I will say that the Hyanka subs, I, I really, I kind of like the look of them for the most part. The, the branding is always fairly clean, even though it's not really a highly known name in the US. I think they do a pretty good job with the branding. So you have a textured cone right here. It does feel like a paper cone. I'm not a, uh, I'm not an opponent to paper cone. I, uh, I actually quite enjoy paper cones. I think they sound pretty natural. Double stitch surround. You have raised on the surround. You have a, a pretty cool logo, a decent dust cap. And you know, the spider is not super tight on this. So this is not going to be an SPL sub. Then you got a plastic border around here. There's a lot of plastic on this. I'm gonna let you know that right away. So as we come to the frame, you have all your speaker connections on one side. Some people love that, some people hate that. You know, I'll leave that choice to you. You do have single tinsel leads here and uh, they are stitched every so often. Then you have a huge plastic cover on the uh, magnet here. It looks like a Pioneer, an American base. You know, if you, it just gives off the vibe of a bunch of different brands. But at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what this looks like, it matters how this performs. So let's get it in a box, put it in the Trooper, and we'll see, uh, we'll see how it sounds. At $75, if it sounds even halfway decent, gives us a halfway decent output, I'm gonna say that it, it's probably worth it. So. There's nothing left to do but to go ahead and throw it in the enclosure and uh, give it a listen. All right, we're gonna go ahead and throw it in a pretty simple prefab box. I think that'll pair up well with this subwoofer because most people that are buying a $75 subwoofer are probably not gonna get a custom enclosure. This one happens to be 1.3 cubic foot, tuned to 38 hertz. All right, so I've had the Hayanka in here for about two weeks. We're gonna do some SPL testing. I'm gonna let you guys listen to a few tracks. Of course, we're gonna look at the flex, uh, but I can say that this sub in a cheap prefab box, I can tell you that it does sound pretty good for a $68 subwoofer, I think the current price is. Let's get the SPL test in. I don't know, I can tell you that this sub does sound good. I don't know where we're gonna land on SPL. It does, it does get decently loud. My guess before we even do this is probably low 130. So let's put it on the meter, get it all hooked up in the kick and we'll see what it actually does. All right, the first run is gonna be a frequency sweep. We're not trying to maximize SPL here. We're just trying to get a baseline. We're wired at four ohms on the MVX uh, 5,000 watt amp. We should get around a thousand ish watts. You know, we have box rise and all that. So 800 to a thousand watts, we will check that later, but Let's get it set up, let's run it and see. Now let's play a couple YouTube friendly tracks and see what it actually sounds like. I have already been impressed by the SPL output. I wasn't expecting that. So I have listened to it for a couple weeks. I know it already sounds good, but I want you guys to kind of hear a YouTube version of what it sounds like. <laughs> Thank you. 
Final thoughts on the even cheaper Hayanka subwoofer. I mean, I think it's great. It performed very well. I think we got a 136.3 decibels, which was about three to four decibel louder than I expected. I had it in a enclosure that was too small for it. It absolutely sounded great in that. And that's another thing, it sounded really good. I mean, it's not an SQ subwoofer, but for a basic subwoofer, it sounded good, had no complaints whatsoever. And currently I believe it's on sale for under $70. So at the end of the day, can I recommend this subwoofer? Absolutely, I can recommend this subwoofer. Hayanka has put out some bangers. We had the original Hayanka subwoofer that come out. It was great as well. Then we had the component set that I actually really liked. Then we had a four channel amp that I didn't really care for. So, you know, it's not all rainbows and sunshines, but you know, Meat Loaf once said, three out of four ain't bad. Well, I mean, he said two out of three ain't bad, but you get my point. So that being said, if you're interested in this sub, I'll leave an affiliate link in the description below. So if you enjoy this kind of content and you wanna see more, hit the subscribe button, hit the little bell, so you will be notified when I drop the videos. And I appreciate every single one of you that are watching. I hope to catch every single one of you on the next one a big shout out to all my supporters but a special shout out goes to the six star award members el fuego audio baba corna scott mccord david koslick scott dealbeck dennis cromwell jr fox boy audio sound solutions travis mclennan william berg 2001 monolithic joaquin juarez old school stereo living loud with andy thomas marshall kevin lautner d stewart jesus tires and bobby burkett you can join the team for as little as $2 a month. Get your name in the credits for as little as $3 a month. And for as little as $6 a month, you can get your name read aloud. Join me at patreon.com slash hi vega.